So this is the first and this is the second. Right. So they're equivalent. Uh, in function, this actually has more switches. If you look more at this, switches. this okay. one only has one, two, three, four switches. Uh -huh. And these are toggles. So you uh -huh. could say it could have six if you want to look at the toggles. Okay. But here you're looking at three, uh -huh. four, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve okay. switches. Okay, each one of those is a switch. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Huh. So you would touch these? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like this. Capacitance. Oh. Just oh, touch wow. the icons. Really? Huh. But the ink comes all the way through? Because it's capacitance, you can tune it to read the E-field interruption of your finger. The E-field interruption right. of your finger. Right. So there's an E-field that's going on if this was turned on. And as you get close to it, no different than your iPhone. Mm. Mm. Interesting. All you're doing is interrupting that E-field. Okay. And just for the person who's watching this, they're all solid. They're hard. and. And so this is a plastic, a regular plastic? It's a polycarbonate. Re and in addition to that, uh -huh. this has gone through over three million actuations. A regular mechanical switch hole, uh, you'll start to see some degradation yeah. around 500,000. Mm -hmm. They stopped testing this at three million because there's uh -huh. no moving parts. You can Sweet. keep going and there's nothing to move, so there's nothing to break. Incredible. Again. Whereas when you use a mechanical switch, obviously right, this the motion parts, is a moving yeah, part. It wears things down. Correct. Awesome.